hello everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how you can create any table with table relation so in this video i will gonna create my remaining tables for this class app so first i will create my class schedules module table so let's create it to do that choose table folder click on new file give id to my this file name class schedules class schedule dot table dot al so this is a l file i can use table snippet <coughs> so this is a l file i can use table snippet to create my table quickly 50103 and the table name is class schedule then here my first field i want to create that is teacher id teacher id it's a type of integer field and it has a table relation with teachers table so here my second field is line number also a uh, integer type data classification is equal to to be classified and this is auto incremented my third field is class id this will be another integer field this is also has a relation with classes table so let's move to this here another is schedule day schedule day this will be an option type so let's give some option member to this option field let's make it monday tuesday and last is sunday so here it will be comma now let's give some caption to these options or we can do that just copy it in single quotes write the same thing so this schedule day field name is without a space if we want that we can also change the caption to the field this is another property for every field by changing it we can change the caption of any field so let's create another field what is another field schedule date schedule date it is a date type field what will be the next it will be t field schedule start time start time it's time field and then duration duration is type of let's make it decimal another field is scheduled end time here we have class id if you also want to show the class name or teacher name we can add also two fields here t field 
that value based on that two above fields so make it then name is just text type let's make it 50 character or 250 field 10 class name so let's make it 250 character for it also just copy this so we are done with class schedule table so the next important part is here to define a key so for this table i want to use two fields as a key one is teacher id second one is line number so this is ready let's create our final table it is 50104 underscore student registration dot table dot al so so let's create it quickly 50104 student registration then the fields are first field is student id student id it must have a relationship with a student's table table relation is equal to student second one is line number t field second one is line number and it's an teaser field and auto increment to increment equal to true third table is class id class name and class mode so to make it quickly i'm just going to copy my class id okay and the class name what's another class mode so here i already set the class mode so it will be also based on the relation if i go to classes I can copy a mode from here. So let's get back to student station table and give a mode here. Class mode. this will be editable calls no one can change it this also will be editable false and this option type will have a relationship let's check it out classes dot mode yeah it's working hmm. no it's not working option type must have a value so just make it like this and this class name also have a tailable relationship <coughs> on classes dot name okay but it will be auto field whenever a student select a class id so here in keys again i will use two fields to create a common key so we are done with our all the tables in next video i will show you how you can write code to automatically enter a class name based on the selected value of class id so that's it for this video thank you for watching